us. Of course, the first thing you have to be is a doctor, and then that, and then after that, you have to do medicine, and you have to be a physician, and then usually we specialize. And really, it's all about people along the way that you've that have influenced you, or uh, things you've done that you didn't like, or things that you did and you really liked as a junior doctor. But in general, it sort of happens by chance that you fall into a position that you like and you think, mm, that's me and I'll just stay here. So it is challenging when uh, in the NHS you don't have access to all the treatments that you would want to and you don't have access to the breakthroughs that are coming very fast and furious because of funding schemes and national funding schemes. Sometimes it's actually heartbreaking, but you have to respect the NHS in that it works in a system of equity to everyone and sometimes getting that equity across is very challenging. Um, of course, there's much more freedom in private practice and uh, uh, it's nice to have the um, the ability to do both, and I think we actually need that. So, so um, it's very hard to answer that question without being too cliche, because of course at this point I have had all these years of experience. Of course I love meeting people, I love my patients, and I love the work I do, I love the research, I love the new treatments. I love getting people through their treatment. There's just not one great part of the job. The job is a very broad thing and it's with you a lot of the day. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll just skip the one best thing question. <laughs>